having a background in carnatic music what is hmm. it that fascinated about you towards sri muthu swami dikshit much of what i learned as a child was uh, dikshit's compositions my teacher saraswati ammal is a daughter of uh, kalida kuruchi anandakrishna iyer who learned from ambi dikshit who is oh. a son of uh, subrahma dikshit who is a nephew of muthu swami dikshit so naturally the repertoire was around dikshit compositions and most of the krithis we we learned were the kutti krithis the small ones with just with the anupallavi which used to be referred to as samashti charanam in those days um sri guru hatareya sumaham or sri ganadatham bajare or uh, ananta bala krishna mama things like that you know so when you learn krithis like that they are easy to learn you don't forget them and this there's some kind of a structural quality about them where the lyrics lyrics are also you know within half an hour tanam a few phrases are contained they don't spill across half hour tanam they don't spill across full hour tanam or anything anything either so we got i got kind of used to that and started actually liking it but athlan what they used to tell at home was why is your teacher not teaching you these long tyagaraja compositions why are you just learning these compositions i said well as a child you don't have a choice you just l- learn what is being taught yeah. to you but and uh, i didn't think any more beyond that so mm. if i remember i think mm. you've done an album exclusively on dikshitar's notice for us i mean that is correct i came to know about you so since then okay I yeah that is fascinating that is another aspect of the story see my party used to play the veena and uh, her father that is my kolu tata he used to play the fiddle he never called it the violin he just called it the fiddle and together they used to play these notes at home mm-hmm. and uh, ta ta to them it is ga 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 ma ga it is not shakti shakti sahita oh right okay because my kolu tata had listened to it directly from bands and he had taught them to my party and they used to play it together then in learning music from my teacher i learned i realized that okay one of the tunes that party plays is the same as shakti sahita and one is uh, same as santa tampahima so and then i realized that uh, there were more there were some in teachers collection which is not, which were not in parties there were some in parties collection which were not in teachers so the little mind of a 6 year old no a 7 8 year old tells this kid um, oh there is probably may, many more that we don't know about so that was uh, i remember actually thinking about that um that uh, yeah so that i mean there was a natural flow of thought right notice for society as is not are not just the only aspect of dikshit there is a way there's way more to it right so the way he has traveled around the way he could uh, his music relates to temples and how even as a college during my college days and during my visit back to india days when he visited a temple and when you see a devata there and you see, mm. you're able to correlate that with the composition of dikshitar amazing isn't it 